Hey guys, just wanted to thank you for being a part of the Husky community and supporting the channel. You guys have been helping out so much. You guys have seriously been awesome with all the views, all the subs, all the comments, all the likes, and the dogs and I really appreciate you so much. It means everything. We love creating a community here on the channel. So if you have a Siberian Husky and you're passionate about Siberian Huskies, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the community. I wanna thank you from the bottom of our little farts. Whoa, I mean hearts, I mean hearts. Go potty. Go boy. Go boy. Let's take a break. Let's go this way. Come on. This way, bud. We're gonna go in some shade. <laughs> Gotta pee on every little thing. right here. Everybody. Welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. Have you ever had a husky before? And that husky was super cute just like this one. But unfortunately one day it just all decided to shed and explode with hair everywhere. Yeah, I deal with the same stuff on a daily, weekly, monthly basis if you know what I mean. Today we're going to be talking about what is better for your husky. Is it one of those regular brushes that you get at the store? Or should you invest in one of those super expensive furminators? You know what I'm talking about. Those really spiky, crazy crazy doctor looking fur pulling thingies that you see at the pet store that cost like $150,000. No, they really just cost like 50 or 60 bucks, but still a lot of money for a piece of plastic. Today we're gonna be talking about whether or not you should or should not invest in it. And right here you're looking at the Furminator on the left and just a regular old brush on the right. Now which one is better? It's a mystery, it's a question that everybody asks themselves when they get a Husky. Because I know and you know and we all know and Jeebus knows that Huskies just like to explode every few months with all their fur. What this is called is blowing their coat and if you're not familiar with it, Huskies do this thing where every few months they decide to shed their coat and they are going to lose a lot of hair and when I mean a lot I mean more hair than you can bear. So what should you invest in? Now this is just a regular old brush. This is just something you like go like this and you're just like ooh ah feels good. It feels great doesn't it? She's like let me lick it daddy oh I want to eat it. And then the Furminator kind of looks like something that you might you know impale a victim with. It doesn't look pleasant and it's not something you like want to casually pet your dog with. But we're going to talk about this because there is a place for it and you may have to invest money in this if you want your dog to be fur free and aka your house be clean. So come with me let's talk about which brush you should use on your Siberian Husky. So first things first, when I first got Gila, I bought a Furminator right away because everyone online was like, your Siberian Husky is going to shed all over your house. If you don't have a Furminator, then you are going to regret it. Well, let me tell you guys something. Don't buy the Furminator right away if you're planning on getting a Siberian Husky puppy. Why, you ask? Well, because your Siberian Husky puppy is not going to need to be Furminated within the first year of them growing up. And this is my professional opinion. Now, I will say this. I did ferminate, if you will, if I can use that expression. I did use the Furminator on Gila when she was just a little puppo. And I kind of ended up regretting it because even though she was shedding a lot of her coat at the time, when I did the Furminator on her, she ended up losing a lot of fur. And I feel like it was unnecessary for her to lose that much of her coat 
at that young age. So I always really kind of regretted it. You shouldn't really be tugging hair out of a husky's coat until they're after a year old because you just don't want to damage like a baby husky's fur that's growing, it's new, you know, it's fresh. You don't want to mess that kind of junk up. So really what I'm going to say here is you should just hold off on using a Furminator until your Husky gets way older, like maybe eight months, maybe a year. You're gonna get a couple of blowouts in that time period, but that's okay. You'll learn to figure out how the hair falls off, where it accumulates, like in every single corner of every single room. And then basically what you'll do is you'll buy the Furminator then. If you're getting a puppy, start off with one of these. These just regular brushes. These are super nice. Your dog loves these, they're just like, Ooh, okay, yeah, ooh, oh, all right. These are nice. You don't have to get the Furminator on your Husky until your Husky's older. And a lot of you may feel different about that. A lot of you may say, hey, no, I use the Furminator from the get-go. If you get a rescue Husky and your Husky is like over a year old, then yeah, by all means, get yourself a Furminator. So let's talk about why you should get the Furminator when you do decide to drop that dime. When your Huskies do have what they call a blowout where they do shed their coat, it's going to get very, 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 very hairy in your house slash apartment. And I'm talking very hairy. Your carpet, if you have one, is going to fill up with fur. You guys see that corner of the room with all the hair? That's what it looks like. So honestly, there's just no way to avoid, you know, husky hair getting all over your house or getting all over your apartment. But the, f <laughs> the, oh, the Furminator is going to reduce that by like 700. If you get the Furminator, you take your dog in your backyard or outside somewhere and you comb them with the Furminator. Once they're like of age, I'd say eight months or older, you can seriously reduce the amount of hair that's gonna go into your house when your dog is blowing your coat. So yeah, the answer to this video is get the Furminator if you own a Husky. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate you. We love having you stop by the channel. As always, if you liked the episode, hit the like button or comment something down below. We love hearing from you. The pups always love hearing from you. I also have a Facebook. It's called Hila the Husky. All the pictures of your Huskies make up the Husky community. So go ahead and visit the Facebook page. Post a picture of your Husky if you have one or just your dog. We love seeing all sorts of pets, even birds and little hamsters and little kitty cats. So go ahead and visit us there. And if you'd like, we also have an Instagram account. Our Instagram is 60formula and it's also Hila the Husky. So go ahead and visit us. I'll put all that stuff right here so you guys can see the links and I'll link it down below. Go ahead and follow us and we'll see you next time in another episode of Whatever I Make. Peace!